The canton of Zurich is one of 26 cantons in Switzerland. It is a German-speaking canton and is located in the northeast of the country. It shares a border to the cantons of Thurgau, St. Gallen, Schwyz, Zug, Aargau, Schaffhausen and also borders Germany to the north. The canton's capital city is the largest city in Switzerland, namely the city of Zurich. The largest cities of the canton are Zurich with about 420,000 inhabitants, Winterthur with about 114,000, Uster, my birthplace but not place of residence, with about 35,000 inhabitants, followed by Dübendorf and Dietikon with 30,000 inhabitants each. In total, the canton of Zurich is home to just over one and a half million people, most of whom live in the city of Zurich and its outskirts. The canton's abbreviation is ZH and the canton joined the Swiss Confederation in 1351. Since my videos about moving to Switzerland are popular, there is probably some interest in the canton of Zurich. And since I grew up and live here, I would like to address Zurich in this video in a little more detail. In 2015, the canton of Zurich had a higher score in the Human Development Index than any independent country on earth. So it is not surprising that Zurich attracts a lot of people from abroad and that's why its population is steadily increasing. But we will talk about that in a minute. Zurich is a German-speaking canton, which means that the official language is German and the state communicates in standard German. Nevertheless, locals communicate in Swiss German, more precisely in Zürich, which means the German of Zurich. But in case you are watching from abroad, then I can happily tell you that many people here speak English, since Zurich is surprisingly globalized. But in order to connect with locals, it still is good to practice some German, especially since it also shows that you are willing to integrate into the culture of Zurich. The canton is divided into 162 municipalities, which enjoy certain political freedoms, for instance determining their own tax rates. In my view, this is an upside as it allows the municipalities to compete with each other, which makes the canton of Zurich a more competitive canton overall. In spite of its small size, Zurich is known for a high number of things. It is known for the high quality of life, the high wages but also the high cost of living, for its clean streets, for the Lake Zurich, for the Bahnhof Street, for the many institutions headquartered here, such as FIFA, UBS, the world's largest asset manager to private clients, Credit Suisse, ABB or ETH Zurich and also for the Zurich airport. But as we will learn in a moment, the city and the canton of Zurich have much more than that to offer. Despite its small population, Zurich, like Vienna, is one of the world cities, but sadly just an alpha minus world city. Zurich is the most important center of Swiss media and the creative industry. And thanks to its location on Lake Zurich, its well-preserved medieval old town and its diverse cultural offerings and nightlife, it is also an important city for Swiss tourism. According to The Economist, Zurich is the seventh most competitive city in the world thanks to its financial attractiveness and institutional effectiveness. The flag of the canton is diagonally divided, blue on the left and white on the right hand side. The meaning of the colors is unknown, but it is known that the flag has been in use since 1434, so it is one of the world's very old flags. The blue-white color combination plays an important role and it can be found in various applications, such as in public transport. However, it should not be confused with the flag of Luzerne or Zug. Moreover, it is worth showing the military flag of the Republic of Zurich until 1798, which I think looks way too cool to just forget about it. The lion also plays a role in Zurich's coat of arms. As a shield holder, it symbolizes courage, power and strength. The lion was also stamped on old coins of Zurich and can be found on many state logos. The canton of Zurich is the economically strongest region in Switzerland. It is an important financial center with national and international banks and insurance companies, which allows Zurich to easily compete with other financial centers like London or Frankfurt. 
Along with Munich, Zurich is a leading global center for reinsurance and also a popular city for international congresses. It is exciting to see how the technology industry is evolving in Zurich. Today, Google, Microsoft, Apple, Facebook and Amazon all benefit from some of the city's advantages and have set up huge campuses here. Google even operates its largest site outside of the US in Zurich, employing around 4 to 5,000 people. The German e-commerce giant Zalando has also recently moved into the Prime Tower. According to a report on the internet, there are various reasons why these tech companies have settled down in Zurich. One reason, according to the report, is the traditional precision industry that is present in Switzerland. The watch industry is an example. And this precision industry is very important for robotics. There is also an increasing amount of venture capital in Zurich, fueled by the financial industry and also government-sponsored programs. But of course, Zurich can't compete with California's Bay Area when it comes to venture capital. But where Zurich can indeed compete with the Bay Area is in the number of undergraduate and graduate students in robotics. Today, ETH educates a similar number of undergraduate and graduate students in robotics as the top Bay Area universities in California, says Roland Siegwart, the head of ETH's Autonomous Systems Lab. ETH attracts students from around the world, which the tech companies are then looking forward to employing. I can even see with my very own eyes that Zurich attracts talent from abroad as I'm currently studying computer science at ETH Zurich. I would even say that half of the computer science students come from abroad, practically all of them from Germany. The tech companies probably also appreciate the political stability, the business-friendly environment and the fact that Basel, a global hotspot of the pharmaceutical industry, with Roche, Novartis and many other healthcare companies, is located nearby. With health tech emerging quickly, which means IT companies pushing their boundaries in healthcare and healthcare companies pushing their boundaries in IT, this perhaps also plays a role why Zurich is an attractive location for tech companies. The unemployment rate in 2021 was at 2.9% and the median salary was at 7,832 Swiss francs per month. This means that half of the population earns more than the equivalent of 8,560 US dollars per month and the other half earns less. Workers in the financial, telecommunication and information technology industries statistically earn the most. We will take a closer look at the cost of living later in this video. In terms of transportation, Zurich is well connected by a dense rail and highway network, so it really is not necessary to own a car. If you are interested in more videos about Switzerland, feel free to check out my Switzerland playlist where you will find more videos about other cantons as well. If you have an idea which country I should cover next, please let me know down in the comments. This video is part of a video series that covers informative facts and the migration procedure of many countries around the globe. I've created videos for countless countries worldwide. You can find the playlist linked in the description below. But let's return to Zurich. What are the main upsides of moving to Zurich and what needs to be considered? Over 27% of the inhabitants of the canton of Zurich are residents without Swiss citizenship. 23% of them are Germans, followed by 16% Italians, 7% Portuguese and people from countries located on the Balkan Peninsula. But what are the main upsides of moving to Zurich? I generally think that the economy and the taxes are an important point to consider when moving abroad. After all, taxes and social security contributions are probably your biggest expense in case you are watching from Europe. As mentioned earlier, wages in the canton of Zurich are very high by international standards with a median of over 8,500 US dollars. And even though the cost of living is among the highest in the world, there is probably more money left at the end of the month than in most other places. Here is an example that highlights this fact. Although nowhere else in the world a Big Mac is as expensive as in Zurich, an average worker only has to work for 15 minutes to afford one. The global average is at 37 minutes. 
So it financially makes a lot of sense to move to Switzerland and especially to Zurich, also thanks to the lower tax burden in some municipalities. However, you should pay attention to the tax rates of the different municipalities of the canton. In the city of Zurich or in the city of Winterthur, the tax rates are significantly higher than in other low-tax municipalities of the canton. In addition to this advantage, Zurich of course inherits many other benefits of moving to Switzerland, for instance direct democracy, political stability and the geographical location in Central Europe. Of course, we must not forget about nature. This canton is located in the Swiss middle land and its landscapes are characterized by small hills and mountains. The Lake Zurich is an important natural symbol of the canton. There are even some islands located within the lake, however they belong to the canton of Schwyz. But also the Greifensee or the Pfeffikersee in the Zurich Oberland are relatively large lakes on the territory of the canton. The largest river is called Limmat, which flows from Lake Zurich to Argau and after which the Limmat Valley is named. Other rivers are the Glatt, Töss, Tour and Ziel. The small but water-rich and powerful mountain rivers and streams of the Zurich Oberland played an important role in the early beginnings of Swiss industry. The highest point of the canton is the Schnebelhorn at 1292 meters above sea level. The Uetliberg is also considered a popular tourist destination that is definitely worth exploring. By the way, I've already uploaded a video about some of the best viewpoints in Zurich. You can find the link below in the video description. So the landscapes of the canton are characterized by hills and mountains, rivers, lakes and forests, as well as fields. From the canton of Zurich, you can also visit the Alps in short travel time. The next advantage is the high quality of life in the city. According to the Mercer Quality of Life Index, Zurich ranks second among all cities worldwide. Only Vienna can surpass Zurich in terms of quality of life. So to sum up, the biggest upsides are the high wages and strong economy, the landscape, the quality of life and all other advantages that come with moving to Switzerland. A colleague from Germany who I met at university says that he is also surprised by how clean and orderly Zurich is. But how much does it cost to live in Zurich? If you live off 3000 US dollars a month in Portland, Oregon, you will need about 4670 US dollars a month for the same quality of life in Zurich. This makes living in Zurich over 55% more expensive than living in Portland. But besides all these upsides, there are also some drawbacks of moving to Zurich. Even as the largest city of Switzerland, Zurich is a rather sleepy and quiet but cozy city. One should not expect a vibrant city life. Many stores close early. While summers are super pleasant and I really enjoy them, winters are very grey and foggy in contrast. Also, most of the disadvantages of moving to Switzerland apply to Zurich. For example, high costs for childcare. Nevertheless, I think Zurich is a great location for young families and children because security is very high. Children become independent at an early age, which affects their development positively. Other than the previously mentioned drawbacks, moving to Zurich probably is not a bad idea. But what must be done in order to move to Zurich? I have covered the pros and cons of moving to Switzerland in a separate video. There you can also find the procedure of moving to Switzerland. You can find the link below in the video description.